you know, in my life, uh, I've, I've, I've joined a number of groups, uh, and um, they've shaped my life. They've given me a set of values, but none more so than the Boy Scouts of America. It's either directly or indirectly. Yeah. Directly or indirectly, they guided me to Texas A&M. They led me into the military. They taught me the value of public service. They challenged me to dedicate my life to something greater than self. And I would venture that no other organization in the world has salvaged more lives, built more confidence, created more leaders than the Boy Scouts of America. Uh, it's kind of like ripples on a pond, Mr. McGinney. Uh, this good organization does what it does and extends way beyond just uh, the lives that are directly involved in scouting. Uh, we all benefit from uh, people like the folks at Parks and Wildlife who work every day to protect our nation's uh, beauty, uh, our state's natural resources. They ensure its availability to subsequent generations. Uh, many of them develop their, uh, their, their love of life, as I said earlier, in, in scouting. Um, on hiking trails, out in the woods, in the meadows, and, you know, places just like Camp Tonkawa. Um, and as many of you know, I'm not only a product of Boy Scouts, I'm also a product of this camp. Um, days that I spent here were some of the best days of my life. Well, there was that 108 experience here. That was, uh, it's part of that ordeal thing. <laughs> but it was worthwhile. We were camping out and we were exploring, we were discovering a lot of different things, wildlife. And, um, we were experiencing the, the limits of our abilities. Um, man, I'm, I, I learned so much sitting around a campfire listening to your dad, uh, Roy Wiseman, those guys share their life's experiences to young, wide-eyed boys with their entire lives in front of them. Uh, you know, big chunks of my childhood boil down to two really, two basic units. Um, times when I was at Camp Tonkawa and times when I was thinking about getting back to Camp Tonkawa. <laughs> Scouting trips to places that uh, uh, showed this young you know, farm boy uh, that there was a whole wide world to explore out there. You know, 1964, Waller, when you, uh, uh, as our um, assistant scoutmaster, took us to Valley Forge for the National Jamboree, and to Philadelphia to visit Liberty Hall and Liberty Bell, see our congressional delegation in Washington, D.C., the trip to New York City to the World's Fair. Uh, you know, for a boy from Pine Creek, that's, that's pretty big living. That, that was stepping out. Uh, and it was all because of the Boy Scouts. Um, a, um, scouting, scouting forges people's lives. Uh, it's just... It, it, it forges a character in, in young men. Uh, it, it is, um, and, and, and scouting's effect on me was very profound. It, it uh, uh, not only is it the collection of some of my most cherished memories, uh, but it forged the type of character that guides you for the rest of your life. Uh, the type of uh, um, lives that you and I Rick had the great privilege and pleasure to interact with, with um, you know, United States senators to CEOs of major corporations, firefighters, soldiers. 
That character is formed when a young man learns of his duty to his community, to his country. The need to contribute more than what you may gain in return. Something happens to young men when they're learning their merit badges. Uh, they're climbing the ranks, even attaining that rank of eagle. Something happens to a young man during that period of time. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine from our camping days, Riley Couch, shared with me when we were sitting around the table at the governor's mansion, uh, and, and he said that Camp Tonkawa brought one thing to mind for him, accomplishment. At Tonkawa, we either rose to the challenge and succeeded, or we tried again until we got it right. <laughs> and that was an important lesson to be learned by everyone. And it's even, I will suggest, an even more important lesson today um, in a world that celebrates get rich quick, get what you can when you can, where just about any desire can be satisfied with a couple of clicks of a mouse, the opportunity to work hard, to pursue simple goals is actually a great gift. It is a gift to every child who comes into contact. But it's also ultimately a great benefit to society. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that gift is in increasingly short supply, as Carter shared with you. Uh, people who say today's children aren't willing to put the work in, frankly, are pointing their fingers in the wrong direction. Uh, I happen to think young people all across our state are performing at a pretty high level. Um, in Central Texas last year, there were more scouts that received their eagle than ever before. And having walked through that kind of lengthy and arduous process with my son Griffin, I can tell you that that is a huge challenge, and particularly a huge challenge in today's world where there are all these competitions for our kids' time, uh, for their attention, uh, but it is so very worth it. So here in this place where so many lives have been shaped over the years. I can say with confidence that uh, the spirit to excel is alive and well. Uh, I, I really look forward to coming back and seeing this camp uh, in, 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 a, in a glorious form, uh, better than it has ever been, even in our dreams. <laughs> it can happen, and it will happen. Um, there, and again, I go back to there are just few organizations that have the opportunity to impact young people. Um, you know, I, I, I hope there's someone either reading a report about what's going on here today or, or, or watching on TV or listening on the radio uh, that is thinking about what's their legacy in life going to be. How am I going to leave a lasting legacy in the big country. What can I do? And let me tell you, they could do a lot worse than leaving a substantial amount of their legacy, their wealth, their inheritance to a place like Camp Tonkawa. And I hope at the end of the day there will be those that step forward, understanding that for 60 plus years, this camp has made a difference in young people's lives, and it should be given the opportunity to go forward and do that again. That's what today is a part of. Scouting continues to challenge. It continues to inspire. It continues to teach and lead the boys of America in unique and traditional ways. And I will tell you that the state of Texas is much better because of it. Texas has long reaped the benefits of the Boy Scouts in general and of Camp Tonkawa in particular.
So today we are here to repay just a little bit of that debt, Mr. McGinney. And after uh, visiting Camp Tonkawa as tenants for almost a century, I think it's time to make this a permanent residence. So I'd like to ask Mr. McGinney to come up. And uh, this man has done more uh, than anybody else even in the same chapter uh, to make Camp Tonkawa uh, the most special place that it is today. And uh, what I would like to do is to uh, ask you to accept this deed on behalf of the state of Texas to the Boy Scouts of America. And I, it's kind of all, there it is. Thank you. 